Hello, 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 everyone. I hope you are doing well. My name is Sayyam, and welcome back to the channel. Right? Today we're gonna solve the third problem of today's lead code contest, which is count Caesar cipher pairs. Ah, uh, this question seems tough at the first glance, but trust me, it is not. It is a very simple problem, and you can solve this problem. I don't know why they rated it four. It should be rated as five, but four, four. I don't know, but this is a good problem. Obviously, definitely better than second problem of today's contest. But yeah, uh, with that note, let's get started with the video. If you are new to the channel, make sure you to subscribe to the channel, like the video. Uh, let's get started. Count Caesar cipher pairs. You are given an array of words of n strings. Each string has length m and contain only lower case English letters. Okay, we have a vector of strings. Two strings S and T are similar. If we can apply the following operation on any number of names, what does mean is means like we they are said to be equivalent if we do some operations of either on S or T to make them equivalent. What we what operation we can do? We can choose either of the string, replace every character. Very very important. Not any. It's every character in the chosen string with the next letter in the alphabetically cyclically. That means what? Let's say if the string is A B C. It would be become like B C N D. Every letter will become one 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 increment. Okay, very important. And Z will be transformed to A because there is they are saying in a cyclic shift way. Perfect. Count the number of pairs of indices i comma j such that i is less than j. Words i and words i uh, words j are similar. This they trying to mean is uh. Consider ordered pair, not unordered pairs. Okay, so oh sorry, uh, consider unordered pairs means i j. Consider only ones to define a order. You can say that to consider only ones. No, not consider j comma i also a pair. No, only ones. Return an integer denoting the number of such pairs. Hmm, seems tough at the first glance. Then we let's try to understand the problem from the example. For example, this a b. Okay, so A B can be similar to Z A just by incrementing the distance by one. It's not that you can apply the operation only once. You can apply the operation any number of times as you want. Okay, so you apply only one time, so it becomes Z. It becomes A. These two are equivalent, so we found one pair. And similarly, these two are the exactly equal, so obviously they will be equivalent. We found another pair, then it would be two. Okay, hmm, perfect, sir. Yeah, we I, I were able to understand the problem at least. And we'll think the problem eventually. It's not a very difficult problems problem. It it seems so. Hmm. Then we go to the constraints. These things we have to quickly do in a contest because they have very less time. Constraint says us n is ten power five. N into m is ten power five. And m alone can go up to ten power five. Okay, okay. This is the constraint. Perfect, perfect, perfect. This means what? The number of strings could be ten power five, but if you multiply the length of the string, each string, and the number of strings, that also is in in the range of ten power five. The individual length go also can go up to ten power five. Perfect. We are concerned with this. Okay, this is ten power five. That makes sense. That means we can iterate on all string, and and we can iterate on each character also. This is the meaning of n into m ten power five. This gives a hint of this. Perfect. Okay. Now what? Now what? We are stuck. What we do? How do we do? That we have a b a a z a n a a. How would we know that they belong to a same group? Many people may think a similar pattern. What pattern they can think of? They can think of. Say, um, if we fix a string, if we fix a string. And just calculate the distance of each character from that string, and all the distance are turns out to be same. That means that is a valid similarity. For example, this one and this one, like each character difference. This also differs by one. B and A also differs by one. Exactly one, or and it should be in absolute sense. Like you have to fix one string, the total difference should be one one. So one one. That means this is a transformation of this string, and this is let's say another string. Let's say B and C. That is also fine. This also works. This is also the equivalent string of them only. Hmm. 
ओके तो सम हाउ दे हैव दैट कॉमन प्रॉपर्टी बट द प्रॉब्लम इज इफ यू फिक्स आर स्ट्रिंग एंड देन यू चेक आउट फॉर ऑल अदर स्ट्रिंग्स द द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन ऑल द कैरेक्टर्स द टाइम कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी वुड हैव बीन यू हैव टू आइडेंट फिक्स अ स्ट्रिंग दैट इज ऑर्डर ऑफ एन इट सेल्फ देन यू हैव टू चेक आउट फॉर ऑल अदर स्ट्रिंग्स दैट इज ऑर्डर ऑफ एन इट सेल्फ एंड देन यू हैव टू गो ऑन ईच कैरेक्टर टू चेक इट सो इट्स ओ ऑफ एम सो इट्स कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी टर्न्स आउट टू बी एन स्क्वायर एम This is a brute force time complexity that won't allow because the maximum time complexity allowed is n into m. Can we get rid of this n? That is our question. Can we skip the iteration part? No, we cannot skip this. We have to skip somehow this fixing a string and iterating on all other things. It's not a very good idea, in my opinion. How can we make it better? That is we have to figure out. Okay. Perfect, sir. We at least got the intuition that what we have to do. Okay. Now let's try to think about deeply what the problem is. Say, and can we do something? We just need to group the characters. We need to group them. That is the first thought process. How we can group them? One way is to go on iterating and checking. That we already saw. That will give the TLE. Is there any other way? Yes, it might be. Why? Why don't we do something like this? We pick a string and make it friends, or you can say brothers. Let's try to maybe sisters also. Try to make all possible strings which are the transformation of the particular string. What are the possibilities? Ah, uh, Sayam, it would be maximum twenty six. Actually, it will be exactly twenty six. Ah, they will be twenty six brothers and sisters. What we can say, cousins. You can say that the transformation in a way, transformation. Perfect, perfect. Yes. Can this help? Means we know that this is equivalent to these twenty-six strings, twenty-six strings. So we can count all these, right? We can call all these currencies, the frequency of all of them, all of. them and boom your job is done yeah that is perfect but same there could be duplicacy right means let's suppose let's suppose if the similar example it's like a b and it's like z a and it's like a a and it's like a a you make all the possible transformation what are the transformations b c and you can say c d and uh, you can so on go up to z a 26 possible strings are there you counted what are the occurrences of every pair we group them they all are same perfect we we count the, those pairs let's say that turns out to be x the same similar strings now how many pairs can you deduce from there let me think let me think uh from this we can think of how many pairs we can think of it's like x two pairs are you with me because any two have the same thing any two have the same transformation both are equivalent because they all belong to the same group and that turns out to be x into x minus 1 by 2 yes exactly right this and this that equivalent now when you visit this string you can maintain a set or a vector or you can say a map so that it will tell you oh you have already processed this string You have already processed this string in its here. You don't need to calculate its brothers again because it's already been computed. The pairs are computed from here itself, right? And you can skip this string, and that is the overall idea. That give that is the biggest thing. So the idea is iterate on each string. Then this is the first step. Second. Calculate, calculate. It's all transformations, which is twenty six, twenty six, all twenty six transformation. Then, or you can say, firstly, compute the frequency also. Compute the frequency in a map. This we already do at the above, like. In the words, there we maintain a frequency count of each string. Now, what we can do, we have the transformation. Then we can 
keep a you can say temporary variable or you can say the count you can say x the com all the sum of all frequency of the transformations okay including itself okay that will the frequency will also be considered these will be considered and then the final contribution from this group of pair would be x into x minus 1 by 2 just the thing you maintain whatever whenever you doing this transformation you another we maintain another visited map visited map so that you can already know you have already processed this string you don't need to process it again you don't need to calculate it brothers and sisters because it will be again same it will be again same 26 will be same right exactly and this you can skip it and you just answer add this answer x into x minus 1 by 2 every time in your answer let us try to try another example also a similar example this one so it's like a a so a a a b a a a a and z a so what are you going to do firstly calculate the frequency vector we have already calculated the frequency so a b turns out to be 1 z a turns out to be 1 and a a turns out to be 2 perfect perfect we go on a b we go on a b we calculate all the brothers and sisters and transformation of it so it turns out the combined frequency x for this case turns out to be 2 why a b itself and this z a right other than all frequencies are zero because these are not does not concern to the transformation now what is the answer contribution from here x into x minus 1 by 2 2 into uh, 1 by 2 which is 1 a contribution of answer from here is 1 you go to a a now you go over all its transformation it will be b b c c d d e e f f but here the free, there is nothing from only itself it is getting 2 again the x is 2 here and you get the confirmation 1 here now remember that a a is already processed you don't need not to process it again you can skip this yeah, you can skip this also because this is already being processed priorly we will mark it when you are creating the transformation right we'll mark a visited area there and boom you're done done you can just sum up the answers the answer is the finally will be two let me just quickly show you the implementation so that you can understand it better it's not very difficult problem so what are you gonna do you're gonna just maintain firstly a map you can maintain the frequency of each but then you can maintain another map you can say m or you can say visited map so that it will tell you what strings you have already been processed now remember that what we are doing iterating on each string will firstly check whether we've already processed this string or not if you already processed continue otherwise make and maintain an answer okay this will be the sum of all the frequencies of the transformation it is actually x here okay then you're gonna do what are the possible transformation 26 possible transformation including itself so you're gonna do and what you're gonna do to maintain this remember that you maintain another temporary string let's say t and you define with s and then you iterate on each character on each character you just change the every character by that distance how you can do that just add j to this character like firstly calculate the distance like what is the value from a distance and then you just shift the distance by j take the modulus very very important cyclic order to maintain and then make ti equals to a plus new well what you have made and then you got this new string here right the transform string the 26 transform string will be there you just increase the frequency or you can say that uh visited area you can say empty of one also but plus plus also both are same no problem here it's very very important you calculate the frequency from this answer variable now once you process all the 26 string you calculate your final answer and the contribution from this string is answer into answer minus one by two remember that to make one long long because it can go beyond the integer range and finally you just return the count i hope you understood the solution let us quickly see the time complexity so you use a word array which is o of n itself you go and iterate on 26 which is 26 itself you gonna iterate and then finally uh what are you gonna do uh gonna do an iterate on each character on a string which is o of m since we are using an ordered map so this will be uh, other things are nothing we are doing is just finding so it will be o of n you can say order of log n also but okay it's order of one only in unordered map because yeah you know that the final term complexity turns out to be n into m into 26 the space complexity is o into uh you're maintaining the frequency vector which is o of n itself so this is o of n 
so yeah this is this time and space complexity this is space complexity this is the time complexity so yeah i hope you learned something new in this video make sure you to subscribe to the channel like the video if you love the video and learn something new and share with your friends then we'll see you in the next video until then keep learning goodbye